805 AM. Do you really need to get out of bed? Time to get your day started, and we have just the way to do it. Welcome in to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. News, weather, sports, and some laughs along the way that'll get you up and at them, sleepyhead. Uh, not you, Henry. This is Talk of the Town on 1037 WTIB. Here's Henry. Hey, 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 welcome in. It's hour two of Talk of the Town at five minutes after uh, eight o'clock. Welcome to the program. And uh, if you missed our new sponsor last hour, we're always welcoming new sponsors to the program. And uh, this morning, it's a very special new cologne that has signed on as a new sponsor here of Talk of the Town. You smell that? It's in the air. Catch a whiff of the new fragrance sweeping America made from the scent of corruption and the smell of desperation. It's impeachment. It's impeachment. <laughs> Try it out as Congress is to fragrance. When it comes to cologne, some say it's horrible. One of the worst ever. Others maintain it captures the essence of a pile of garbage. It's impeachment. Talk about impeachment. Will it pass the smell test? Impeachment, the aroma of politics as usual, and the odor of abuse of power. Either way, eventually, that stank's gonna end up on you. It's impeachment! Imported from the Ukraine, impeachment, the new fragrance from House of Pelosi. It stinks. (laughs) Welcome to our new advertiser here on the program. Impeachment Cologne. Love it. Get you some today. (laughs) The smell of trashy Mm. dumpster fires. Mm. Uh, Seven minutes after uh, 8 o'clock. Hey, this hour, we are uh, going to give away another live animal. I have some more lobsters to give away. Uh, The St. Timothy's Episcopal uh, Lobster Fair is coming up to Greenville uh, a week from Saturday, but uh, I just want to remind you that you have to place your order by Friday if you want to to, to get a lobster this year. This is a big deal in Greenville because people, you you don't have to be from Greenville, but you can be from anywhere, but you uh, got to come get your lobsters here. You can either eat at the church, which my wife and I did last year. We went out there last year and ate at the church. And by the way, if you do that, you can get the, the shrimp right off the grill. They were cooking them right mm. there. That's good. Uh, so the St. Timothy's um, Lobster Fair coming up 10 to 2.30 a week from Saturday, October the 5th. Uh, you gotta, and here's the number if you want to call to place an order for a lobster if you don't win one this morning. 252-686-1952. 6861952 but you got to place your order by Friday. You can get either the uh, lobster dinner with um, french fries, corn on the cob and slaw or you can get uh, boiled shrimp. Can't go wrong with french way. fries, corn on the cob and slaw. But I'm going to give one away here shortly so stand by. It's the only live animal that we ever give away here on the program. I hope it's the only one we ever give away on the program. Is a lobster, an, would you consider it an animal? Is a fish an animal? It's a crustacean. A crustacean? A crustacean. Yes. yes. McGee, uh, Google that. Is a crustacean an animal? It's a living, breathing thing. Well, it's not breathing. Well, I guess it does breathe. Uh, it has gills, I guess, so it breathes. But uh, Yeah, it's a diverse group of uh, invertebrate animals. So it is an animal. Which includes active animals such as crabs, lobsters, shrimp, krill. But, but Michael, I'm impressed that you came up with that word, Me crustacean. Me too, crustacean. That, uh, that Wilson Public Education is pl- paying, paying off. It's paying off. Yeah, it's paying off. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, also this hour, see what else we got. We got George, our buddy George Young's coming in this hour. From the uh, food bank. Oh, good. Food bank's been very active, of course, with the hurricane down at uh, down on the coast of uh, Hatteras Island and Ocracoke Island. Uh, I'm not sure that's his area, but I mean he's he's still working on uh, rep- um, uh, keeping everything going from last hurricane last year. 
Uh, and speaking of hurricanes, what is this tropical storm Karen going to do? Have you seen the track on this thing? Uh, I saw it yesterday. So I the, there's, the, there's the one that is blowing out the sea. There have been like two or three now that have just blown out. Jerry blew out the sea. Yeah, Jerry blew out the sea. And uh, hello, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry! Hello, Newman. Uh, so Jerry blew out to sea, and um, now we have Karen. And the track of Karen is like it follows the same track of Jerry like it's going to blow up around Bermuda or something. And then it takes a dead left turn and draws a bead right on the Bahamas again. So... Um, we just adjusted our, you know, we take a family trip every year Thanksgiving. We take the whole family on a trip. And um, um, we were going to the Bahamas this year. So you know where we had reservations? Marsh Harbor, which got blown away in the hurricane. God bless those poor people down there. They're just struggling still to get things together. But, uh, you know, we had reservations on JetBlue, and I called JetBlue. You know, it, it, it changing it's been a nightmare. You know, you call the airline and go, um, yeah, uh, I had reservations in the Marsh Harbor, and my understanding is is that um, the airport doesn't exist anymore. So are you going to refund my money? Uh, well, sir, we'll be happy to give you a credit. I want credit? No, I want my money back. So, so we've now made reservations for the Exuma Islands which is still in the Bahamas, but okay. further south. It's about two hours south of Marsh Harbor, and it wasn't affected by the hurricane. So we're going to Exuma, uh, Georgetown, uh, in the Exuma Islands, which is down in the, in the southern. It's the very bottom islands of the Bahamas. Okay. So that's where we're going now. And now this hurricane is heading there, or this tropical storm. Well, you have Karen, and then you have Hurricane Lorenzo, who's behind it. They're kicking up, aren't they? They are. They are. I, I so here's the question. Are we getting more hurricanes, and are they more intense? You know, this little 16-year-old girl from Sweden has been running around, went to the U.N. and gave her speech, and, you know, she's being, she's being used by the environmentalist to say, you've ruined my future. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I was just uh, – yesterday, uh, my nephew – Posted because October's coming. A big family tradition in in our family is uh, was the um, the off Broadway show called um, King Mackerel and the Blues Are Running. Remember that, Michael? Can you find some music from King Mackerel? F uh, Google King Mackerel and the Blues Are Running, and you'll find. Uh, see if you can find some music for that. Uh, it was. It is a. It is a um, a stage production written by uh, a couple of friends of mine that I, I got to know pretty well when I was living in Chapel Hill, uh, Jim Wan and Blaine Simp uh, Bland Simpson. Bland grew up in Elizabeth City. Okay. And, and uh, the, the, the two of them teamed up with uh, a guy named Don Dixon, who was this really talented rock and roll singer from a group. Remember the group? No, you wouldn't remember. You were way too young. There was a group called Arrogance. Here it is. Tide rolls out. This is, uh, this is the thing from King Mackerel Summertime. and the Blues are in. Check, crank it up. Just about this is my friend Bland Simpson from Elizabeth City. All that's left to think about is the fish and coming on. A lot of folks around here have seen this stage break. It's really outstanding. Who's got the latest information? Coast Guard or Charlie? Here comes Don Dixon right here. Could be the kid down at the filling station. Saying, buddy, have you heard the news? This is about October fishing on the North Carolina hey coast. Hey, buddy, have you heard the news? King Michael and the Blues are running all along the coast. And talk about fishing. Everybody's lucky. October and the moon is coming, but the clouds won't give up the ghost. Oh, let the good weather hold one more day. All right, so there's the opening song. It's a whole stage production. 
Have you, you, you're, I, not, you're not aware of I'm it? Not. They, uh, they've performed it in Moorhead City many times. They used to perform it um, like on the, the night before or during the weekend of the, uh, the Big Rock. Uh, I don't even know if they're doing it anymore. Jim Wan, by the way, who is uh, one of the guys that wrote a lot of the music, wrote a lot of uh, hits in the set. R remember um, the, uh, the, the, the song by John, Ed John, I think the guy's name was Johnny Edwards, wasn't it, Michael? Sunshine? Sunshine, go away today. Oh, I know I that song. I don't feel much. Or Jim wrote that song. Jim lives in Chapel Hill. That song was from another uh, Broadway show that he uh, wrote for, and uh, Pump Boys and Dinettes, which is one of the songs that uh, Jim wrote for that. But anyway, so the reason I'm saying this and relating it to hurricanes, there's a whole section of this of this uh, of this stage production where they talk about hurricanes. I mean, it's all about the North Carolina coast. It's absolutely fascinating if you live here, and um, they have video of hurricanes that have happened in North Carolina. Now, th this thing was written and, and started in the 80s. So this was way before Bertha, way before Fran, way before Hugo, certainly way before the last five or six years we've had these hurricanes. So they got these, they got, they, they got a video of the North Carolina, old film from like the 50s and 60s of hurricanes that have hit the coast. And, you know, they sing about having a hurricane party. And then uh, Jim wrote a, a song called Beautiful Day, which is a song about the day after the hurricane and all that. So uh, I'm looking at this video. Uh, yesterday I was kind of thinking, man, I hadn't seen this in a while. I'm going to watch it. So I watched. The, uh, they, did, they, they produced it for UNC TV years ago. And they had the video of all the hurricanes. And I was looking at all this video of the hurricanes from the 50s and 60s and saying, it was worse than anything we've had recently. So, you know, I don't know about climate change. I mean, I'm not an expert. I think that people on both sides are being ridiculous. You know, to say that there is absolutely no way there's climate change, I mean, I don't know. But look, I don't trust the lefties enough to believe that it could actually exist either. And I, I'm just saying that. And you've had some pretty good people over the years in the weather industry, including the guy that started the Weather Channel. What was that guy's name that was on uh, Good Morning America? Um, what was his name? He came out and said climate change was a climate change is a hoax. There have been a lot of people, but again, there are a lot of scientists that say, well, you know, the polar ice caps are melting. Well, I'm like, yeah, it's uh, 90. <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to melt this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's hot. You, you know, you see the set, uh, CBS had this thing where the guy was up there. You know, he's in a boat and he sees, oh my God, it's melting. It, you know, they had he had this glacier and it was melting. And I'm like, well, they don't stay frozen all the time, do they? I mean, <laughs> you know, it gets to be 110 in some places in this country, and then you go up there to the North Pole. I mean, I know it doesn't get to be 110, but I mean, it may get warm enough during the summer to melt the ice. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't know what the truth is. I don't know enough about it to, to I don't know what the truth speak is. Speak intelligently. I just, I just know hope this. not. Uh, Google King Mackerel and the Blues are running today. While I your like that song. While your boss is not looking. And go to the hurricane scenes. I mean, I think it's like Hurricane Hazel. There's two or three other hurricane scenes. And it's the North Carolina coast. And the hurricanes were worse than anything we've seen. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty bad in Newburn last year. I'm not yes, taking anything away from Newburn. Pretty bad in Ocracoke. Go look at this video. I mean, you'll see mass destruction and flooding in the 50s. So, I mean, it, it definitely happened in the 50s. So, you know, do we have climate swings? I think we do. I mean, I kind of subscribe to the guy who came back and said it's the El Nino, El, El Nino effect, where, you know, the weather every five, six, seven, eight years – there's a difference in the patterns because we did go a long time and not have any hurricanes. I remember we went like 15 years and didn't have a serious hurricane in North Carolina. So anyway, I got this friend in California that I was talking, I'm talking a lot about my California yeah. friend. He was like, man, how do you guys live there in North Carolina where you got all those hurricanes? And I said, one word, bro, earthquakes. How do you live there? <laughs> how do you live in California? Yeah. 
with earth. I'd rather, hey, I'd rather have a, hearth, a hurricane than an earthquake because at least we get uh, two weeks' notice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, or the wildfires. See. Yeah. You know? I mentioned that um, we um, we are going to um, have Perrin Jones on the show tomorrow morning. Dr. Jones is the uh, appointee to fulfill the remainder of Greg Murphy's term in the North Carolina State House. So he's going to be here about this time tomorrow morning. So if you have not gotten to know Perrin Jones, he's a quality guy anesthesiologist here in Greenville, really good person, and he is going to be our newest state house member. Now, there, uh, as, I, as I understand it, there were five people that interviewed for that, and, um, you know, we'll have to see if any of them have any interest in running. Uh, I, I, I heard a rumor that uh, former Senator Tony Moore was interested in that position and may have interviewed. And Tony has been, um, he's been very outspoken about this redistricting effort because apparently Winterville has gotten split into three different House districts. And I, I am suspicious that, of course, you know, here's the thing. Pitt County has three different House districts now. You have three different House members representing Pitt County now. You uh you had Murphy, now Perrin Jones. You had Candy Smith, and you have Chris Humphrey, who represents part of Lenore County and part of Pitt County. So we have three House members representing Pitt County now. But the way these districts are going to be drawn, you know, uh, some people think it's going to be harder for a Republican to win. So it'll be interesting to see who the Democrats put up and want to run. AOT? Is AOT making a comeback? You think Alan Thomas will run for that? It doesn't pay anything, does it? So he probably won't. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you only I get no 14000 a year. You can't live on that. 22 minutes after. Let's do the a lobster giveaway. You want to? Yes. Uh, let's go to break right now, Michael, and take caller number four at 252-561-8255. 252-561-8255. Uh, get the uh, get the lobster for free from St. Timothy's Lobster Fair coming up a week from Saturday. Call right now if you want to win the lobster. 252-561-8255. Call number four. You're a winner. We'll be right back. It's clearance time at Greenville Toyota. During our 2019 model year-end savings event, we need your trade. So we'll pay you up to 130% of KBV value. Yes, 130%. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bellsport, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeeps here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all remaining 2019 Jeeps and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. It's Jeep Adventure Days. Buy a new Jeep Cherokee this month and get 20% off MSRP. That's right, 20% off a new Jeep Cherokee this month. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Crossing the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. It's game time.
time. Dude, that was Luke Keekly. It's game time. It's game time. It's game time. Thanks, Luke Keekly. It's game time. I know, Luke. It's game time. Now help me with these groceries. It's game time. It's clearance time at Greenville Toyota. During our 2019 model year-end savings event, we need your trade. So we'll pay you up to 130% of KBB value. Yes, 130%. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Work is redundant. Work is redundant. Your talk shouldn't be. This is Henry Hinton and Talk of the Town on 103.7 WTIB. 26 after 8. Uh, let's go to the telephones. We have caller number 4 on the phone. Good morning. Who is this? My name is Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Greenville. All right. Good. Good to hear from you this morning. Barbara, Thank do you, you like do you like lobsters? Oh, my goodness. Do I love lobster? Yes, Lobsters. absolutely. One okay. of my favorites. Well, I got, yeah. I got a free one for you. I got a free lobster from the Lobster Fair coming up a week from Saturday here in Greenville at um, – St. Timothy's Episcopal Church, they have that big lobster fair every year. And uh, here's the deal. You're going to get your choice of a lobster or a pound of boiled shrimp, French fries, corn on the cob, and slaw. And um, you have got a freebie here this morning. So I'm giving you a live animal right here on the program this morning. All right. Well, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much. I, right. I enjoy your show so much. I listen to you every morning. Oh, well, God bless you. I appreciate that, Barbara. Just enjoy your, enjoy your voice. You have such a wonderful voice appearance oh on. really thank you You're barbara absolutely <laughs> <laughs> thank you barbara i appreciate that all right hang on michael will uh, tell you how to get your lobster stand by all right. for that. thank right. you so right. much thank you for calling congratulations again the st timothy's episcopal church lobster fair coming up a week from saturday october 5 10 to 2 30 and uh, again if you want to place an order for lobsters you got to do it by friday you got to call our buddy ray franks uh, 252-686-1952, 686-1952. Uh, you can eat on site or you can take them home and have them for dinner. You can get them cooked. You can get the lobsters cooked or you can get them not cooked. Get them not cooked and take them. That's half the fun. Take it home and put it in the pot yourself. Yeah, yep. And um, Make a night out of it. Yeah, although last year my wife and I, uh, the other thing that's fun is to just go out there and hang out at the uh, – at the church uh, while they're doing the, cooking the lobsters and the shrimp and everything. They also have a, uh, a bazaar and um, uh, a, a silent auction. We actually, you know what we bought? I, I said this to Frank Ray yesterday. We actually got one of those Kerry coffee machines. Yes, there that you someone say that. had donated. And, man, it's, it's great. It's great. It's got the timer on it the whole bit. Uh, I had, uh, we had one, but we needed another one. So we have two of them now. So, but we bought that. I think we got it for like 40 bucks. Those things are worth probably 200 bucks, I would imagine. Uh, 828, let's go to McGee and get some news headlines in now. Here at 28 minutes after 8 o'clock, here is our Talk of the Town news update. All right, thanks, Henry. A high-speed chase on Interstate 95 ended in a crash Tuesday night when the suspect being pursued lost control of the vehicle and crashed into the median. The driver was identified as 22-year-old Trayvon Haynes of Durham. Hayes, excuse me, of Durham. According to the Nash County Sheriff's Office, the chase happened around 10 p.m. Tuesday night when Hayes attempted to get away from deputies while speeding in a reported stolen vehicle on I-95. Deputies say they seized a large amount of powder cocaine from inside the vehicle after the crash happened. Four Marine officers have been fired after an investigation found pilot inexperience in a toxic command climate contributed to a deadly mid-air collision that killed a Newburn Marine and five others. 38-year-old Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Herman of Newburn was flying a KC-130 off the coast of Japan back in December when the Marine Corps says an F-A-18 Hornet collided with it during nighttime refueling. The investigation showed the F-A-18 pilot was not experienced in nighttime refueling operations and the jet unintentionally crossed over the top of the KC-130, colliding with the rear of the tanker. Speaker Nancy Pelosi has announced the House is moving forward with an official impeachment of President Donald Trump. Pelosi made the announcement Tuesday from the Speaker's uh, office at the Capitol saying no one else or no one is above the law. Calls for an impeachment inquiry have intensified following reports that Trump may have sought a foreign government's help in his re-election bid. Pelosi says the president must be held accountable. 
Terry Smith will step down as chairman of the UNC Board of Governors on October 1st, opting for a less time-consuming and emotionally exhausting position as a regular member of the board. Smith was first named to the board in 2013 and served as a vice chairman before becoming chairman in May of 2018. Smith said he had been anticipating stepping down as chairman for several months and felt the time was right to do so now in order to get the next chairman time to acclimate to the job before a new UNC system president is named next spring. And Karen strengthened back into a tropical storm Tuesday morning and now has uh, 45 mile power winds and is currently moving north uh, toward Puerto Rico. It's expected to slow down while moving north and while looking at a couple of hundred miles south of Bermuda, Karen will turn to the west late in the weekend. And we're also keeping an eye on Hurricane Lorenzo, uh, which has sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. Henry. All right. Very good. Appreciate you. Um, I'm supposed to do the weather here, but uh, I, I don't, got it. I, don't, it. I do not have my uh, live commercial that I got to read right after it. So can you do the weather? Sunny skies for today with highs in the middle 80s. Tonight we'll see clear and warmer conditions with lows in the upper 60s for your Thursday. Partly cloudy and quite warm with highs in the upper 80s. At rain chance for tomorrow, only 20 percent. And for your Friday, 88 degrees for the high under partly sunny skies with overnight lows in the upper 60s. And it's going to be hot this weekend. It's going to be in the uh, upper 80s both Saturday and Sunday, 89 and 88 degrees respectively on those days. All right, news and weather service this hour of Snow Tractor in Aden. Come by and see my man Larry at uh, Snow Tractor. Save big on a new grasshopper mower, and uh, they have all sorts of power equipment there. Grasshopper builds a true zero-turn mower for strength and durability while minimizing weight for superior agility, agility and a light footprint. They also have some of the best warranties in the industry. For more information, call Larry at Snow Tractor in Aden today. 252-746-8200, 746-8200. Better yet, stop by his office and see his um, all of his Mayberry pictures in his office. I love it. Uh, 832. You know, I had mentioned this this morning. We mentioned we're going to be at Krispy Kreme on Friday, so come out and see us there. But uh, Monday morning, we got a big get on the program. Franklin Graham is going to join us on the program Monday morning. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It is. Uh, Franklin Graham's going to be on with us at 7.35. It'll be on the phone, but uh, he's launching his uh, Decision America Tar Heel State Tour. Apparently going to be a lot of great music. Uh, he's going to have uh, some Eastern North Carolina stops. He's in Fayetteville on Monday night He uh, or Tuesday night. What, what's October 1st? Let's see here. Uh, October 1st will be Tuesday night, so it starts... It starts in uh, Fayetteville Tuesday night, and then it uh, comes to Greenville on Wednesday night next week, October 2nd. It's going to be at the uh, Pitt County Fairgrounds. And then it goes to Wilmington October the 5th, which would be Saturday night. It's going to be in Wilmington. It'll be in Raleigh on Sunday night, Greensboro, Hickory, Charlotte, and Asheville after that. So we start in east and moving west. Franklin Graham. Uh, coming to Greenville next week on Wednesday. But we'll have him here on the show on um, on Monday morning. So tune in for that. All right, 8.33, 27 minutes in front of uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, coming up next, my buddy George Young from the Food Bank. He's uh, still working on trying to help people displaced from the hurricanes. And uh, he might need your help. So stay with us. We'll talk to George next. clearance time at Greenville Toyota. During our 2019 model year-end savings event, we need your trade. So we'll pay you up to 130% of KBB value. Yes, 130%. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. It's game time. Dude, that was Luke Keekly. It's game time. <laughs> it's game time. It's game time. Thanks, Luke Keekly. It's game time. I know, Luke. It's game time. Now help me with these groceries. It's game time. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. 
See a doctor now at VidantNow.com. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeeps here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all 2019 Ram trucks. And come check out the great selection of 2020 models. Get 0% for 60 months plus 4000 cash back on a new 2019 Ram 1500 now during Ram Power Days. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Our lowest prices are even lower. It's the 2019 model year-end savings event at Greenville Toyota. Get clearance savings on over 200 new Toyotas, Camrys, Corollas, RAV4s, Tundras, and more at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. We're waiting for you on Facebook now. Like us or watch the show. Find us at 1037 WTIB. Now back to the show with Henry Hinton. <laughs> Welcome back to Talk of the Town. <laughs> Some people text me things. I got your text. You know who you are. <laughs> Somebody just texted us. She's being way too kind about that voice. Actually, I'll say who it was since she's an elected official because it's a public record. Candy Smith just texted me that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Candy. 23 minutes. Just vote for the override, Candy. No, it's too late, isn't it? 23 minutes in front of 9 o'clock. And uh, now in the studio, our, our old friend George Young from, I shouldn't say an old friend. <laughs> Uh, a longtime friend, George Young from the North Carolina Food Bank is here, the Eastern North Carolina Food Bank. A lot to talk about, and uh, George uh, was on a lot about this time last year because uh, Hurricane Florence really took Eastern North Carolina down to its knees a little bit. But we've bounced back pretty good. But, uh, George, give us an update. I know you still – we were just talking about this. There's still people displaced and still out of work and things like that. I know we were talking about Newburn and the – yeah, hotels not open down there. That put a bunch of people out of work. Uh, yes, well, this, Henry, uh, give us a little update on how we're doing since last year. Well, Henry, thank you to you and Trent for having us come back. Uh, the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina continues to to work, and I think um, it's difficult. You know, when the sun comes out, and we've had some beautiful days here. Um, we're all living in our own little personal, professional, and personal bubbles, and. Uh, we have uh, Greenville and the New Bern communities. We're riding around. We have the Viadent, the ECU communities, all the manufacturers. And we get back into our routine. And then, frankly, uh, we still have uh, thousands of families struggling just coming out of uh, the last hurricane season. And um, even with our Hurricane Florence was the, the biggest devastation. And when you're talking about uh, businesses closed down, and as you mentioned, uh, even in New Bern, the, the hotel there has not reopened. And people are really, really struggling that have gone through this. And uh, having just come out of Dorian, we really missed the bullet in that uh, we did not have that flooding, thank goodness, and we're, we're grateful for that. But we have an and economic— by, by the way, we should say—I'd ask you this uh, just a minute ago before we went on. You you do not service the Ocracoke area. That's, that's the Elizabeth City area. That's yeah. a, there's another food yes. bank area up there. Yeah, yes. But p folks up there listening to us, um, you, 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 you giving to the food bank there would probably make, be a good it, idea right about now. Yeah, it certainly would be. And uh, the food bank system in the nation is broken down into county service areas. And our food bank of uh, Central and Eastern North Carolina covers 34 of those counties. Uh, and we're unique in this uh, food bank world in that we have branch branches and here we have the Greenville branch, which is one of six branches of our food bank system. And the food bank has just uh, gone into uh, with the 20th anniversary. 
where we were recognizing our donors and volunteers and churches and all that have been supporting the food bank here for the last 20 years. And do you know, 115 million meals, uh, food equivalent to 115 million meals has come out of the Greenville branch of the food bank since 1999. And we really were part of the Hurricane Floyd response, and that's really what kicked things off for this yeah. bran branch here. That's unbelievable. 115 million meals? 115 million wow. meals. Uh, you're talking about millions and millions of pounds of food products that uh, the food bank has provided to people in need. And you have over, uh, just here in our five-county service area for the Greenville branch, 82,000 people considered food insecure. And again, that food insecurity means, you know, uh, three bowls of cold cereal a day don't make a meal. Folks have access to some foods, but not very good nutritious food. They're struggling to put meals on their table. Uh, we have a lot of families struggling, uh, working uh, two or three jobs, trying to get their car repaired, paying for shoes, kids' school supplies, and what have you. The biggest need, though, is um, it's really not a food issue, as you know. Here in Greenville, we are surrounded by food. We have every grocery chain, restaurant chain, uh, a, a good economy starting to roll. Um, and, you can, and, and these grocery chains help you, right? Yes, we have the what's called the Retail Donation Program, and all the major chains are part of that coordination in that they are providing food to the food bank and assisting us in getting food uh, to folks that need it. Also, our food pantries, we have over uh, 70 170, excuse me, 170 food pantries, which coordinate with the food bank here with the Greenville branch where we're distributing food. So the 20th anniversary, uh, we really want to say thank you, donors, volunteers, and everyone in the business community, churches, and what have you, have made it possible to help uh, raise the funding to get this food to people that need it. But you were about to say, I think I interrupted you, you, you have plenty of food, but, but it's distributing it it is the cost to, of distribution. And getting the, keeping your trucks That's on the road, road to get the food to people and all that, it's, it's a cash problem. It's a, it's a, it's a how do we pay for uh, warehouse operations? George and our small team, we're, we're overhead, but you need uh, folks on a day-to-day -day basis to coordinate this kind of effort when you're working with uh, 200 food pantries between the Greenville and the New Bern branch. All those folks have gone through training. All of them go through food safety training, need site visits and what have you. Our trucks, our drivers, our warehouse operations. Every day if you come to our, our warehouse, you're going to see the movement of forklifts and trucks, trucks arriving and coming and going. That's the cost of doing business. We are, yes, a nonprofit organization, yet uh, there is a cost of doing business and getting this food distributed to where it's needed. And covering 10 counties, you know, it's pretty spread out. And we're sending out mobile food pantries with uh, fresh produce and trucks, uh, trucking out meats, vegetables, and what have you into rural communities where folks don't have access. There aren't grocery stores, and we're getting food to where it's needed. Uh, so, again, I, I know there have been some very generous uh, companies that have stepped up and helped you uh, over the last uh, the few years especially since Florence last year. I know we had you on several times, and uh, a lot of folks responded to that. You're always in need of cash donations, but, uh, you know, individuals also that can donate. Uh, tell, tell, yes. and, and you got a couple of fundraisers coming Go, up we're going to yeah. talk about, but, yeah. but if people just want to write a check and be a part of this and kind of include it in their, their monthly uh, uh, charity donations, yeah. uh, how do they do that? The biggest uh, – Financial support, frankly, comes from individuals, and we're so grateful to our individual donor families. Uh, if you want to give online, you just go to foodbankcenc.org and find the Donate tab, and you can donate online. If you'd like to write out a check to Food Bank CENC, which is Central Eastern North Carolina, send it to 1712 Union Street, Greenville, 27834. So there's two ways to give by uh, online or by check, and we really appreciate that support. All right, let's talk about a couple of fundraisers. you got something coming up in Newburn this weekend, we, the, uh, the yeah. Kitchens of Newburn Tour. Talk about that. Yes, the Kitchens of Newburn Tour has been a historical event for the food bank, for our Newburn branch. We have a great volunteer committee there. People open up their homes to see their state-of-the-art uh, kitchens. And we have Is Nicholas Sparks' <laughs> house on it? 
Nicholas Sparks' house is not on it this year. How about but, the Purdue's uh, house? But but there are uh, <laughs> there are some uh, great homes on the tour, and we're very grateful to our volunteer committee and our homeowners that open up their their homes. And you can get your tickets at uh, Coastal Soul, the UPS store in New Bern, and also Mitchell's Hardware. Uh, Mitchell's is a great, been a great friend of the food bank and great uh, folks. they are great folks and you can get your ticket brochure there you can start anywhere on the tour it's self-guided and this is about the fifth year we've done it it also has a coupon in there for a discount at some local restaurants so you can get lunch and it's just a fun uh fun day uh frankly uh last year got flooded out by uh, hurricane uh florence and uh, our homeowners really struggled and we're very grateful to these homeowners that said we're going to make New Bern strong, and we're coming back. We've got our homes back in shape, and uh, we're going to be on the kitchen tour. So if you have an opportunity on Saturday to go out to New Bern, you can still go to the business locations. You can also go to foodbankcenc.org backslash kitchen tour and find out where the sales locations are, the homes on the tour, et cetera. And uh, it's and a great event. And you've given me two tickets to give away. Yes. And I'm going to hold them till tomorrow morning when we're on 96.3 and 103.7 so the folks in Newburn will have a chance to win as well. Okay, great. So uh, we'll do that. Okay. All right, and, and one more thing coming up here in Greenville. Uh, yeah. And I was, looking at your, uh, I was looking at your poster here. Man, that's making me hungry. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like brisket and ribs. Yeah, well, this, yeah, this is, is a, a smoke in the pit. Uh, this is our up. second annual smoke in the pit, P I T T, for Pitt County. Yeah. And uh, we're grateful to our uh, local wineries, breweries, and what have you that are getting involved. There'll be food and beverage stations at Smoke in the Pit. We're grateful to Eastern East Carolina University and the Murphy Center for hosting us on October 10th. And uh, our sponsors, Food Lion, Aramart, Viden Health. And Coca-Cola Consolidated have really stepped up and teamed together to sponsor this event. And we're also grateful to uh, the local wineries and breweries that are coming our way. And it's going to be a fun event. For that, you can get tickets online at uh, foodbankcenc.org backslash smoke in the pit with two T's, P-I-T-T. And uh, there's online sales. The tickets are going fast. And... Uh, Folks are really stepping up to support this event, and we really appreciate it. And on October is, 10th, this is going to be overlooking the football stadium in Murphy Center. That's at, really going to be it. So. It's going to be there, yeah, and it's, uh, nice. it's going to be a great auction, live music, and uh, really appreciate all our sponsors and everyone and that stepped up. And the food is as good as it looks. Well, that's a great photograph, isn't it? <laughs> it, Man, it was great making... food. It was great food uh, uh, last time, and uh, great beverages yeah. too. Great regional beverages. Really appreciate it, and we really appreciate all the food. And beverages are donated, and all the proceeds support the food bank. All right, so uh, folks, uh, we really believe in the food bank here. We're uh, happy to uh, promote them when George has something going on. We appreciate. It. Let me tell you, this guy works his butt off, uh, and I and I appreciate your your first comments where we've all gotten back to our normal lives and uh, we've all gotten into you know we uh, it, it's it's easy to forget people who were displaced and still displaced yes and not back to normal and don't have enough food to eat especially after florence i know we have enough mu enough problems with poverty in eastern north carolina but that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis but after that hurricane last year man it was something yes. and we we were glad to uh, be part of the uh, uh, opportunity to do the the Avett Brothers concert. Maybe we need to get the Avett Brothers to come back. <laughs> it was wonderful support. Really yeah. appreciated it. Yeah, it was really neat. All right, George, thank you very much. Thank and, you. Uh, if you'll leave me a little material, I'll continue to promote these as we get near, and we'll give away those tickets to the uh, to the kitchens of Newburn tour tomorrow morning. Uh, George Young from the uh, Food Bank here in Greenville. Good to see you, my friend. Thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you for all you do. Thank you so much. All right, absolutely. We'll be back. It's uh, eight forty eight. McGee on sports. Coming up next, and uh, we also have uh, our Laugh Track replay with Jim Gaffigan still to come. Stay with us. It's clearance time at Greenville Toyota. During our 2019 model year-end savings event, we need your trade. So we'll pay you up to 130% of KBB value. Yes, 130%. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money.
When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeeps here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all remaining 2019 Jeeps and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. It's Jeep Adventure Days. Buy a new Jeep Cherokee this month and get 20% off MSRP. That's right, 20% off a new Jeep Cherokee this month. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bellsport, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Game time. Dude, that was Luke Keekly. It's game time. <laughs> it's game time. It's game time. Thanks, Luke Keekly. It's game time. I know, Luke. It's game time. Now help me with these groceries. It's game time. Our lowest prices are even lower. It's the 2019 model year-end savings event at Greenville Toyota. Get clearance savings on over 200 new Toyotas, Camrys, Corollas, RAV4s, Tundras, and more at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Make sure you take Talk of the Town with you anywhere you go. Online at WTIBFM.com. Now, back to the show. Here's Henry Hinton. Okay, welcome back. Talk of the Town brought to you this morning by the Tire Realty Group. You heard it, the Tire Realty Group. Uh, they sell more homes in Pitt County than anybody. And, of course, um, they are uh, they're the folks I'd call if I was going to sell my house. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to give you the telephone number for them in a minute. But remember, uh, fall is here. Winter historic coming. It's historically a slower time of the year in the housing market. So if you want to sell before things slow down, you need to contact the Tower Realty Group right now. That's something to think about. Call them at 252-758-HOME, 252-758-4663. And uh, don't forget their 99-day guarantee. They sit down with you, agree on a price and a deadline. If the deadline passes, the home's not sold. They take no commission in 99 days. What's the secret? How do they do it? Um, you know, the uh, National Association of Realtors says that the average agent spends less than $300 a month on marketing. That's less than your car payment, folks. Uh, so Homer's team spends thousands of dollars on marketing every month, and uh, they do more advertising than I've, er than I've ever seen an ad a, a, a real estate agent do. And they, uh, of course, that means they're going to bring more buyers, which just means you're going to sell your home quicker. And working with Tire Realty doesn't uh, obligate you to anything. If they're not doing their job, they'll let you out of the contract free and clear. Call the Tire Realty Group, 758-HOME, or visit them online at 99orfree.com. All right, big news out of ECU yesterday. Uh, backup quarterback Reed Herring says he's going bye-bye. He's going the Gardner Minshew route. Let's see if it turns out as well for him. Here's McGee on sports. We'll find out. ECU head football coach Mike Houston confirming after Tuesday's practice that backup quarterback Reed Herring and senior running back Hassan Howe both have entered their names into the transfer portal. Neither player practiced on Tuesday. Here was uh, Houston addressing the matter after Tuesday's practice. Reed Herring and I have had multiple conversations over the past few days. He came by today to inform me that he had decided to place his name in the transfer portal. He no longer wants to be a part of our program. In addition to that, Hassan Howe came by to see me this afternoon and informed me that he uh, would like to transfer somewhere to give an opportunity to play. I have good relationships with both kids. wish both of them the best. 
I hope things work out. So with Herring's decision to leave, that leaves true freshman Brian Gag and Alex Flynn as the main backups to Dalton Aylers. Now, when the depth chart was released on Tuesday, Henry, for the Old Dominion game, um, Tay Williams was ahead of Hassan Howe on the depth so he chart. Got, so he got moved back to third place. And, of course, that's with, Der- with Pennix still hurt. Correct. So he Penix really, won- he probably is like the, f- he, he's, he realized he'd been moved down to fourth place. Yeah. yeah. Didn't yeah. like it. So uh, yeah. he said, I'm leaving. Yep. All right. That's our sports update. Um, got just enough time to do our laugh track replay. Uh, I apologize. I love Jim Gaffigan so much. I got another cut from Jim Gaffigan. Here's our talk of the town laugh track. But sometimes we all have to lie. Like even when I tell my children not to lie, I'm kind of lying to them. <laughs> Some people are like, you should never lie to a child. And those people don't have kids. Because when you have kids, you lie to them all the time. You're like, you wouldn't like this ice cream. It's very spicy. (laughs) I'd share, but Santa said I can't. Now, why don't you go to sleep so I can wrestle your mom? (laughs) I'm not encouraging lying. I'm just saying there are times when you need to, right? Like, if you're late to meet someone and you see that they're already angry and you don't have an excuse, you you have to lie. Because if you told that person the truth, they would never speak to you again. You're going to be like, hey, I got to come clean. I just couldn't motivate to get going. I mean, eventually I could. What I'm trying to say is I don't value your time. (laughs) All right, that is uh, Jim Gaffigan on the last prank. All right, we're done. For today, everybody enjoy this nice weather. We've got uh, sunshine today. Temperature's going to be up around 85 degrees. And um, it gets warmer Thursday and Friday. uh, And a little 20% chance of rain creeping into the forecast. Uh, That is it for today. Have a great day. We'll see you back here in the studio tomorrow. And then we'll be live at Krispy Kreme on Friday morning. It's clearance time at Greenville Toyota. During our 2019 model year-end savings event, we need your trade. So we'll pay you up to 130% of KBB value. Yes, 130%. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeep here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all 2019 Ram trucks and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. Get 0% for 60 months plus 4,000 cash back on a new 2019 Ram 1500 now during Ram Power Days. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752 8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. It's game time. Dude, that was Luke Keekly. It's game time. It's game time. It's game time. Thanks, Luke Keekly. It's game time. I know, Luke. It's game time. Now help me with these groceries. It's game time. 
Our lowest prices are even lower. It's the 2019 model year-end savings event at Greenville Toyota. Get clearance savings on over 200 new Toyotas, Camrys, Corollas, RAV4s, Tundras, and more at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money.